feel like being black British is being a pioneer. There's so much I love about being black, but it is the people. We are who we say we are, so we don't let other people define us. I grew up in Catford in South East London. I'm from a place called Woking in Surrey. I'm from Hackney, London. I'm a mixture of the whole diaspora. So I'm from Nigeria, Barbados and Guyana. Come on. <laughs> Where I grew up in Surrey was very lovely. I had a very nice childhood, but I didn't really see myself in the people around me. Being black and British and into sneakers and a woman is something that society will tell you is niche, but there's a lot of us out there. I wasn't born with this level of pride. I wasn't born with this kind of comfortability within my own blackness. I was unsure of it. I didn't know how to accept it as my own. Now I, I kind of try to claim it as much as I can and, and embody it in some of the, the work I do. I'm really proud of how unapologetic we are in terms of just making what we want for us and understanding that it's for us, by us, and it doesn't need to make sense to anyone else. I come from a real basketball family. My dad was drafted into LA Clippers. My mum played her whole life. They actually met on the basketball court. So we've got so many pictures. My favourite one is our dad playing basketball. And we've both kind of taken on playing basketball at some different forms in our life. So it's obviously been quite a big element of our life as well. Yeah. What learning about my black history was how I actually was able to be okay with my own identity. What about you guys? What did you bring? This book by um, Paul Gilroy called Black Britain. So I brought a video where I was a baby that I never knew existed. Archiving intrigues me because our history, Black British history, is not properly saved and documented. Because a lot of our histories are just spoken and we don't actually like document them. That's why it's so important what we're doing right now in terms of all being together and creating something collectively, especially with patchworking because that has its own history. Mm. The future of Black Britain is, is prosperous, it's full of enjoyment. Black Britain in the future looks like somewhere that fully leans into this past and this history. Enabling the next generation not just to be worried about survival and resilience, but just have the freedom to be people. It's for us by us. <laughs>